What's up everybody, Flames of 38 here playing The Witness today. I have been told this is a game I should go into as blind as possible, and I have attempted my best to do so. Um, also, the startup is very quick. It's just The Witness, like there's no, uh, um, I don't know, company logos at the beginning. Just drop me straight in here. I do know I can bring up a control setting, and I might actually mess with the settings a little bit. I literally was just playing around with it for the solid 30 seconds. And I started getting just a little bit of motion sickness, which I don't know if I'm getting old. I never had a problem with motion sickness growing up. And then a couple of times I saw a really cool mod of Signalis that you can play from the first person's perspective. But watching that made me nauseous. Um, there's a game called High Hell I played that made me really nauseous. Um, subtitles, yes, please. Uh, already points off for not having that on by default, but I understand how it goes. I was told messing with the field of view might be able to help with nausea. Um, it's not something I've had to deal with very much in the past, um, but maybe something to deal with today. So I'm going to be exploring with the settings a little bit. Um, this is just me getting settled as we get started here. Um, I didn't actually see a mouse sensitivity option. I might play around with that as well. I think I don't like, I actually don't like how precise it is. I think I wish there was a little bit of um, uh, delayed feedback. Mouse softening, is that exactly what I'm looking for maybe? Um, in terms of what I know about this game, not a ton. Um, uh, let's see what that does. Uh, I don't think that's what I hoped it would be. Um, I know, I don't know a lot of the details, but I do know click to move. No, I don't want that. Um, I do know the creator of this game is, the creator is kind of a dick. Um, from what I could see, I did a very brief search as to exactly why. I had just heard that was the reputation. Um, I looked it up, and from what I could find, it seems like he's just kind of asshole comma general, and he's not like a specific asshole about a specific topic that I would vehemently disagree with or anything. Um... If I'm wrong about that, let me know. Regardless, I didn't know he was an asshole when I bought the game, so it's not like I could have... If there is anything incredibly problematic out there, it's not like I could have boycotted it um, ahead of time. So I might as well play the game I've already purchased. Um, and uh, if it turns out that he's like a mega asshole, then you get to watch this Let's Play instead of uh, giving him money yourself. Um, also, the creator of Braid, a very uh, influential independent game back in the day. Um, and that is pretty much all I know. Did he also do that one about the, the like, uh, super introspective? I can't actually turn around, which actually is making me anxious. Um, I can back up, but I cannot look behind me, which I, I really actually... I don't like that at all, actually. Um... What happens if I click? Something. Something happened when I clicked. Spacebar. <laughs> it told me spacebar to be like, you don't want to deal with this. Spacebar to get out of it right now. Um, he might have also done the one that's like about video game making. And I believe it's a fictional story, but it feels like it's uh, a real thing of a guy telling the story of a friend of his who created video games. I hear cicadas, and that makes me happy. I am a big ol' Cicada fan. I am a... I was very disappointed. I was told uh, Brew 10 may have made an appearance near where I live, and then it ended up not being true. I was very upset about it. Okay, now I can look back. It doesn't look like there's anything back there. I'll keep in mind that I could go back there if I wanted, but um, from what I can tell, that is not the case. So... This doesn't seem incredibly complex so far. Uh, another thing I know, I know this is a puzzle game. I will be solving a lot of puzzles. Um, but for now, it seems like I'm pretty just play, pretty much just playing Breath of the Wild. Um, and I'm curious how different things will be. But I don't know. I'm always a big fan. Whenever there's like a big mystery, I'm always a big fan of like there was an answer back where you came from. So I'm keeping in mind that there's a chance there's something in the original room that has not been fully explored yet. I'm not going to forget that that room exists and wipe it from my memory. This is very pretty. It's a very straightforward art style in a way. Um, but that adds to the charm. The, those clouds kind of look like, have that kind of hand-painted look. I'm liking this so far. Um, I also am surprised to see that subtitles were an option. Again, I don't know a lot about this game, but I I think I would have guessed this is a game that just doesn't have any words, because it's very Mist-inspired, another um, game about uh, 
solving puzzles on an island. This looks like an unsolvable, uh, unsolvable puzzle. I am really stuttering today. It appears I need to either take th th these things off somehow or maybe make them opaque, judging that they seem to be connected to cables. So I'm guessing that's my first task is, is take care of these cables. Well, oh, I got a whole shadow. You can see my guy here. I just assumed spacebar was the jump button and that's incorrect. I don't know if there is a jump button. I like the kind of uh, 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 David Young from D4 look we got going on here. Just a little, little kind of a mullet going in the back, but enough that it feels like we're pulling it off. Looks like we might have a, a jacket of some kind and that our uh, clothing seems a little thicker in the torso than in the pants. Um, I'm sure this is the thrilling gameplay you all came to watch, and that's why I'm giving it to you. You're welcome. Um, I, to be honest, I feel viscerally uncomfortable by the fact that there's not a jump button that I can find yet. I haven't done much exploring, but it should be space, obviously. Okay, we have a maze. Yeah, no, I know, I know what, yes. I'm aware, you don't have to tell me. Interesting. I am speed viewing this, and I don't see any connection points. Hmm. Well, let's start from this side. It seems simpler from this side. Dun, dun, dun. Can't go over here. Can't go... Can follow this way a little bit, and that gets us to here. But this is still cut off from the other corner. So what happens if I go up here? I'm curious. Oh, there, there's a little echo there. Yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you got? What, what's, what's, what's going on with you? Or maybe. Interesting. Okay, I assumed when it gave me the little two blinky dots at the. Uh, lower corners I was trying to connect those to but no it was telling me these are your available starting points and you have to figure out which one. Oh, interesting there's three lit in, uh, no no there's not it looked like all three of them lit up but no it opened up is what it is these are little locks okay I see what we're I see what we got going on here I understand okay Interesting. I, 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 my brain is telling me to follow the cables rather than just solve the puzzle as soon as I see it. But this, I have to power it up little by little. So I do have to do this one now. This, this game feels like enrichment in my enclosure. Like this, this is really just, I don't know if I'm good at puzzles, but I do love a good puzzle game. So I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this game even though it might end up being very frustrating to watch depending on how poorly I do. Um, uh, yeah, I had a feeling there was, there was a, I saw that the cable was not uh, glowing. Um, okay, I think I started on a, uh, a slightly harder one because these so far are pretty simple mazes. Um, okay, here's an, here, here is a maze. Where am I even trying to go? Oh, up there, okay. No problem. Uh, yeah, I'm also curious, what is the range of puzzles going to be? Obviously, it's starting me off with a lot of mazes, but is that, like, the main focus? Surely not. I've heard, I've heard, I've ever, there's a big reputation around this game about it being pretty tricky at points, and I, I imagine it can't just be mazes, but I imagine we're, we're starting off with mazes. Can I do anything about... I'm just going to start trying out my buttons, see what I got, see what I got. Nothing. There's nothing I can do um, from the uh, buttons I just tried. Ooh, that goes over the hedge, doesn't it? Remember the movie Over the Hedge? I don't think anyone really does, but it, it is a movie that sure existed, and I sure did uh, ask my parents to see that in theaters, and I sure don't think they uh, appreciated that. <laughs> All right. Um, interesting that that goes over the moon. I have a feeling that that is going to end up being important, but for now, I believe we should do the bottom one. But I think we're going to want to reset it to the top one later in the game, is what I'm betting that's going to be. 
Um, I, I see. Okay, hang on. I am gonna double check because that goes over the window. Where does this cable lead? That one does go the direction I want. Okay, so yeah, we're going we're going bottom first, and then I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh, bum, bum, bum. So we're gonna go up here. Bum, bum, bum. I'm sure this is not going to be a consistent thing, but I do always love when I'm like. I see where the game is going. It's gonna want me to do this, but it actually wants me to do this. It, you think you wanna to go to the first node you see, but you actually wanna to go to the bottom one. This is gonna open up the other lock. So I can finally open this big bad boy. I see where we're going with this. I would love a sprint button. I don't think I'm ever gonna get one. I fucking should try more keys than what I'm given. The shift button is a, is a, is a, a sprint button, all right. Okay, so does it really, does it matter what I, order I do this in? Oh, you know what I bet it's gonna be? I, th I have a feeling I know what it's gonna be. I was wrong. I thought it was gonna be one of those you have to fill in the entire thing or something, and that it actually wouldn't open up the gate until I did that, but I was fully incorrect. I just had to connect them. I guess because the puzzle was just opening up the locks first. Anyways, before I forget, I am gonna do go do that thing I said that I should do. Nope, that's not, I keep thinking it's a jump. My reflex is that space bar is a jump, but no, there's no jump. Interesting that we have kind of, like, it feels like kind of a vacation resort that's been a little bit overtaken. The gardener's been gone for a while, but, like, you got furniture outside. It feels like a resort. Okay, so now we're going to power up this. Oh, and the power for, okay, it does go away. Okay. That's fine, because the gate should stay open, presumably. We will test that theory. Yes, it stays open. Even though the lock does come back, it doesn't matter, because I've connected what I need to connect. And now, I've already done a favor for myself ahead of time, because that's going to connect to something on later on. I've got to breeze through this game. This is an easy one. Just keep an eye out for any sneakrits. Okay, there's the shift. Thank you. You know what this vibe reminds me of? This is going to be very specific. This specific little pathway reminds me of the virtual... Spoilers for the game Soma, which is a very good game. Um, and I'm sorry I'm going to spoil it. Um, but the very virtual reality at the end of Soma that you only see for a solid, like, two or three minutes um, very much has these vibes um, of, uh, you know, greens all over the place, but then there's also, like, more colorful plants and there's just a touch of artifice to it, but it's enough that you could live comfortably. Ooh, shiny. We have a beautiful lake. We have a weird little buoy thing in the middle. Let's take it all in. We got some, we got some palm trees over there. This is, this is a neat little, like, just take a look at what you have to explore. I, the, the castle did not go unnoticed. That, those, I can't tell if that's a glitch because I'm scrolling the camera too fast or if there is a blinking red light over there. We will see once we get closer if that's a real thing or a fake thing. We got a castle here. I think it's just when I move the, yeah. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. That's definitely a glitch. Um, have a nice little lake. We have a pipe over by the lake. Um, we have some autumnal trees in the back with some ruined towers. We have a big old monument up at the top there that looks like a vault from Borderlands. Excited to see what's behind there. So many things to explore. Let's start with this normal uh, door that's right here see what we can do about this all right we're already i can already tell this is not going to be a maze this is going to be something else i have no idea what it's going to be but it's going to be something else do i need to collect all of the little bits like i am a pac-man that's not going to work if that is the goal i don't know if it is But yeah, let's try it. Um, I think I know what it wants from me. Maybe. Let's see what happens if I cover up all the little Pac-Man bits. I do have to come all the way back to here. Does it like that? Nope. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Let's, let's keep it simple. What happens if I do this? It did not appreciate it. Okay. Okay. It's interesting that we have these little bits as well, and I can't seem to do anything about them. 
Hmm. I have I, I, again. I don't. I I keep saying I don't know a ton about this game, but there's little things I pick up on. This feels like the game, and from what I know about the game, makes sense if it is the kind of game where you see a puzzle and you think to yourself, "I will get back to that later." So I'm just going to leave that be for now. Maybe there's a simpler version of that puzzle to come. Or maybe there's even an ability I don't have yet. I doubt that. I, this feels like the game where once you know, you know. Um, and it's just about the finding out process. But hey, here's a simpler version. Look, look at us. Look at us. Um, let's test. Let's test. It didn't like that. And because it didn't like that, because we didn't get that guy. Okay, so yeah, I was on to something there. Um, I'm not quite sure how to solve it because of the... We had two of the little Pac-Man bits... Um, going in opposite directions from the initial starting point, but I know what it wants from me me now. So let's get it started. Thank you. What are these little guys? Oh, those are just the poles coming out of the... I, I saw little things I was like, ooh, and it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. Okay. Um... Uh, Ooh, this is a tricky one. You think you gotta pick up those boys right away, but no, you save that one for later because that gives you your little escape path. Too easy. I have a, I, I should not be bragging too much this early in the game, but um, I do have an app called Lumosity that gives you little, little, little brain teasers throughout the day um, that I think is going to serve me well in this game. Um, this, ooh, okay, okay. This one's a little trickier. This one's a little trickier. Um, yeah, these three are going to be tricky to all get at once. Huh, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'll see. I can. I know I can also just do trial and error, but I want to see if I can get it. I got it. Go up from here, then come all the way around. Booyah. Let's go. Okay, next up. This game's also, like, with the variety of puzzles, I feel like there's going to be a lot here of, like, different people get different puzzles right away, and then other puzzles stump other people for, like, an exorbitant amount of time. Um, and I'm curious to see uh, where I land in all of it. This one doesn't seem nearly as bad as the other one, except I just screwed it up, didn't I? Oh, no. No, if we, go, if we take the long way... Yeah, that's fine. Great. That appeared to have done nothing for now, but um, I've completed it. Good, to, good to know. Good, good, good to know. I get uh, no immediate reward, which is going to make me both anxious and sad. This is a very pretty game. Look at these sakura blossoms we got going on here. Um. Oh, 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 the game is just a little too open world that's going to bother me when I'm trying to figure out what I focus on next, because I don't want to forget about anything, you know? I'm going to try and solve things as I see them. Okay, now we have some more trial and error. Okay, it liked that. Do I have to go in between the boys, maybe? Is that all it wants? Let's do some trial and error. Let's do some trial and error. What happens if I take the long way around? Didn't like that, because it wants me to get this guy. But if I do this, what about this? Is it going to be sad because it's unbalanced? No. I passed by... I passed through a black and a white, and then I passed through two black squares, and it still liked that. What happens if I only pass through black squares? It's unhappy that I missed the whitey. Of course the white one gets upset. Of course the white one gets upset even when I do what I think it wants me to do. God. So high maintenance. How about that? It liked that. I, okay. I'm not... I don't know what the black squares indicate, but it seems like the whites want all the attention that I can give them. Which, once more, true to form. Okay, so... It wants me to go all around you guys, style on you. Interesting. I should really be, like, th this feels like one where I should be working on my trial and error as much as possible. Um, I am paranoid. Alright, we're good, we're good. 
It's all good. Um, hmm. Okay, so it wanted me... How about, how about that? How about that? Is that good enough for you? Interesting. So, this one's surrounded on both sides. This one was only... The bottom one here was only surrounded by one side. This one was only surrounded on one side. And all three of those were happy. It's just this top guy that was mad. So why would it why why would this one be happy and this one would be mad? I'm curious. What happens if we do this? All of them are mad. So it wants me to pass through. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I bet I know what it is now. They all want to stay together. The, the whites want to be segregated because of course they fucking do, the stupid whites. God damn it. I don't know if this is why the creator's an asshole, but oh boy, there's a certain interpretation you could have about this game. You have to separate them. Oh boy, I don't like, I don't like that line of thinking, but that's all I can think about. But hey, I understand it now. Okay, yeah, let's... Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, all right. I know I'm putting way too much thought into this, but also, like, you could have used any colors and you chose black and white, and you're like, yeah. Make sure they all stay on their side. <laughs> God. Oh, boy, yeah, this could take... This, this... Oh, this is a... This is a, this is a line of thinking that's a... Uh, 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 what we call, uh, what we call back home, uh, no bueno. They don't even have to stay together as long as they're separated from the, oh boy. Oof. Oh man. This is, a uh, the essays you could write on this game. I am, I am curious to see. Wouldn't it be amazing if this turned out to be like a Bioshock Infinite situation where it's like, you didn't even know you were being racist, and I'm here I am being like, yeah, this feels a little bit racist. <laughs> I know they're just squares. I know it's not actually meant to be like that, but like, you're sending a vibe here, all right? <laughs> okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna get on up, grab this guy, and then we're gonna come back around. Hmm, no, it's not going to be happy with that. Yeah, no. Okay, let's try... Hmm. What if... Oh, uh, we, we, maybe if we come down a little... Come down in a bubble, Doug? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Once more, I get no uh, achievement out of that aside from the satisfaction of having beat it. And for that particular puzzle, you can tell... Didn't really enjoy beating that one. We did it, Patrick. We solved racial tensions. All right, well, now I know what it's actually asking for. Let me see if I can go back and, and solve this combo one. I should probably not be going for the advanced ones. Look at that little... Did, did I see that antenna tower the whole time? I didn't notice that was there. Um, I also lost track of where the other one is. Um... Probably don't need to be going for the advanced ones right away, but I'm so curious. And this one's like a door door. I feel like they, I'm going to be making progress here. In fact, some of those other ones might just be... Uh, um, literally just practice. I'm wondering if there's meant to not be any reward for those ones. Okay, so we have... So the other thing is we have several starting points available to us and several ending points, which is interesting. Um... I don't like that. I can hear things rustling. I think it's just that it it must have just been the wind. God. I felt like something popped out of the... I don't think this game is a horror game. I don't think I'm actually going to get jump scared by any creatures stalking the island, but it sounded like I heard rustling in the brushes, uh, in the bushes, and uh, I don't like that I heard that. <laughs> Okay, so hmm. 
y'all are gonna wanna come down this way. Hmm. This is close, but that the one right in the center where I started, that's not going to do the trick. I don't think I can start from there. I think I have to start from here. So let's try, let's try this. Let, and I think we should probably end up on the bottom right there. So let's try working on it this way. Doing good so far. We're probably gonna have to come around this guy, grab these little guys, and then come around. Oh, buddy. Take a look at that. Okay. a terrifying box in the middle of the room. A safe. A safe that I cannot seem to interact with in any way. Oh! I can interact with it this way. What do you got for me? Jetpack? No, just a little piece of paper. I wish I had a camera. I don't think I can interact with this, can I? No. Okay, I guess I'll just try to remember this. <laughs> um, I could theoretically write this down, or uh, I probably should write this down, shouldn't I? I don't like wasting paper, so I'm going to write this down on the back of a Trader Joe's receipt. How about that for resourceful? Um... Oh boy, this is more complicated than I wish. Um, bump, but we'll we'll write we'll draw the path first. Don't do me to, don't don't do this to me, Pen. I'm live. I'm live on air. We're streaming. I'm not streaming, but I am definitely leaving this all in. So I'm embarrassed that I can't find a fucking pen that works. I have like a whole cup in front of me full of twenty pens. Okay, this one works. Down, down, up, down, straight down, diagonal down, down, left, diagonal left, up, circle. And then let's do a, 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 a brief dash of what the... rest of it looks like. Perfect. I will definitely. I'm gonna have to like grab. I I keep I keep receipts and I really don't need to, but it comes in handy if I just need to make little notes like an insane little madman. And I'm just gonna have a collection of witness receipts. I have a plan, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to be the most insane person I possibly can be in order to beat this game. That's how I'm gonna play this. All right. So yeah, I'm curious if those computer screens are just meant to be tutorials. Can I go over the ridge? Oh, there's so many places to go. So many fun places to start. That, okay, that's a reflection. I was like, that's, that's, I'm, I'm high up. I didn't know that. Ooh, ooh, there's a dock over there. That's gonna be my next location. I've decided, I've decreed it. I keep thinking I have a jump. I don't have a jump. I need to tell myself that I don't have a jump. So many good places to start. All right, here's a throwback for you Tumblr folks. Remember that time? It was like an April Fool's joke or something. It was some jokey thing. This looks like a giant piece of machinery that you use to shred horses. Um, and I can't jump into it because I don't have a jump. Curious. Um, it might have been an April Fool's thing, but do you remember when Tumblr just pitted humanity against each other by being like, hey, here are some lizards. Vote on who's the next Tumblr president. 
Um, and the best option was Far and Away Mop, um, which was just a little gecko wearing a fun little hat. Um, and his, his campaign motto was so many good places to start. That was his platform. Just, just so many good places to start. Um, he was obviously the best, and anyone who didn't vote for Mop uh, is a, a monster. Um, but... Um, yeah, it really showed how divisive the campaign trail can get. That one weird little tumbler. Uh... Ooh, that's a fun one. This one's not too complex, but I imagine we'll get more complex as we go. That thing. We have a little museum in this radio shack. Interesting. If I run into them super hard, will they fall over? No. They are connected, so I'm curious if these will be like a puzzle solution of some kind. But I cannot seem to interact with them currently. I don't like the creaky noise. Yeah, I actually am now feeling very isolated in a way I don't actually enjoy. <laughs> um, I'm an introvert. I'm usually perfectly okay with uh, games where you're just kind of off on your own doing your own thing. Um, but hearing the creak of the docks, for whatever reason, I'm feeling for the first time the visceral discomfort of being very alone on this island. And I, uh, I don't love that music cue either. There's a lot here I don't like. I do like this little sandcastle. I like that. It's a sign that someone else has been here before me. Um, which in case the fucking building, the structure that was clearly constructed by people... Um, or at least appears to have been constructed by people. Could have been constructed by aliens, could have been constructed by robots. We don't actually know. Um, but certainly not all natural. Um, kind of silly of me to call that out. Um, but but here's the thing. Sandcastle, that's a recent thing. This sandcastle hasn't been here for years. Uh, it would have collapsed by now. Um, so that's, what's, that's why it's slightly disconcerting to me. Ooh, is this going to be like the, the statue puzzles in Twilight Princess where... One, no, it won't let me go at all unless they can both go. This is a fun one. I like that. That's fun. Oh, they're getting more and more complicated, aren't they? Um, let's try up to here and then out. It's mostly just seeing which path is less free and then use that to determine which way you should go. So we can go all the way up here, and then... And now the left side is less free, so we should focus on left side. Boom. And then our last little boy. Interesting. We have starting points that are kind of blocked. Oh no, I have to get all four, don't I? Interesting. But that being said... That shouldn't actually be too hard, I don't think. Let's let's focus on the this little guy. It's tricky because you have to click on the left one, and then you have to you have to. This one is very focused on mirroring the right, and then the inverse will be true when I do the outer ones. But I see where you're going with this. Nope. Right, and then no, no, stay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not expect that and didn't like it. So I only needed to do one of the two. I had two options of how to accomplish that. Interesting. Um, that still needs to be powered up, so I can't do anything there. I am going to test something. No, I am not allowed to get in the water. I am scared of the water. My, my, my boy is. Um, which is interesting. The reason I, w I would never have tested that unless I saw this little ramp, which would make me think that I can climb back up. I wonder if I'm going to need a boat at some kind of, at some point. Um, let's see what that powered up, shall we? It powered up this. 